of central mass. You see, why did we talk about the central mass? To talk about the motion of the central mass. If two objects are moving, it means their central mass is also moving. Is that, is that right? Yes. If, um, if two or three objects are moving, and if they have a central mass, then the central mass is also moving. And what will be the velocity of the central mass? The motion of several objects together can be studied by the motion of their central mass. If forces F1, F2, F3 act on objects A, B and C respectively, then the central mass of the system will, will move obeying the laws of motion. What is the law of motion? F net equal to MA. Now tell me, if a system is made up of three objects A, B and C, a force F1 is acting on A, a force F2 is acting on B, a force F3 is acting on C. What is the force acting on the central mass of these three objects? Well, remember, the central mass represents all the objects in the system. That means the force now acting at the central mass will be F1 plus F2 plus F3, the sum of all the forces. So the net force on the central mass is the sum of all the forces. So you will have F1 plus F2 plus F3 equal to what is the total mass? What is the mass of the central mass? You see, central mass is a point where the masses M1, M2, M3 are assumed to be concentrated. So the mass of the central mass is the sum of the masses. So we say the sum of the forces equal to the sum of the masses times the acceleration of the center of mass. So this equation represents the acceleration of the center of mass. Or we can write like this. A center of mass equal to, this is summation of all the forces, which we call F net. F net is the sum of all the forces at the center of mass. And M1 plus M2 plus M3 is summation of M. So A central mass equal to the net force divided by sum of all the forces. A central mass, acceleration of the central mass equal to the net force at the central mass divided by the total mass, which is the mass assumed to be concentrated at the central mass. Now, if V1, V2 and V3 respectively are the velocities of their central mass, velocities of the three objects, then the velocity of their central mass is related to these velocities. Now look at the equation for the velocity of the central mass. Velocity of the central mass is M1, V1 plus M2, V2, plus M3, V3, all over M1, plus M2, plus M3. Now, this is an important equation that gives you the velocity of the center of mass. If I have three objects of masses M1, M2, M3, are moving with velocities V1, V2, V3, respectively, then the velocity of their center of mass will be given by V center of mass equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus M3 V3 all over M1 plus M2 plus M3. Okay, let's do a small problem. A force of 9 Newton I is applied on object A of mass 3 kilograms. A force 
2 at 2 neutron I minus 3 neutron J is applied on object B of mass 2 kilogram and the force negative 3 neutron I plus 4 neutron J is applied on object C of mass 1 kilogram. Find the acceleration of their center of mass. Well, we have the equation. What is the equation for the center of acceleration of the center of mass? Acceleration of the center of mass is F net, the net force, the sum of all the forces, divided by the sum of all the masses. All right, let's do that. F1 plus F2 plus F3. F1 is 9 newton I. F2 is 2 newton I minus 3 newton J. F3 is negative 3 newton I plus 4 newton J. When you add them, we add the X components. That will be 9 newton I plus 2 newton I minus 3 newton I. That will be 8 newton I, adding the X forces. Similarly, add the Y forces. Negative 3 newton J plus 4 newton J is 1 newton J. So the net force is 8 newton I plus 1 newton J. Therefore, acceleration of the center of mass is the net force divided by the sum of the masses. That is, 8 newton I plus 1 newton J divided by 6 kilograms. In other words, this acceleration has an X component and a Y component. What is the acceleration along the X direction? It is 4 third meter per second squared I. H over 6 I is 4 third meter per second squared I plus 1 over 6 meter per second squared J. So, the acceleration of these three objects is given by this quantity which consists of an X component and a Y component. What is the magnitude of this acceleration? The magnitude of the acceleration is square root of X squared plus Y squared. See, we do this so often, it becomes part of your vocabulary now. Is that right? If this is the acceleration vector, the magnitude of that will be square root of 4 third squared plus 1 sixth squared and that is 1.34 meter per second squared is the magnitude of that acceleration. Well, what is the angle of that acceleration? Angle theta is given by theta equal to tan inverse of y over x. Theta is tan inverse of 1 sixth divided by 4 third. Now try this on your own, on your calculator. And that will be 7.1 degrees. So under the action of these forces, the acceleration of the center of mass will be 1.34 meter per second squared at an angle 7.1 degrees. Okay, so we are applying now the laws of motion to the motion of the center of mass of a system of objects. All right? Let's now do a small problem. A 1500 kilogram car is moving westward with a speed of 20 meter per second and a 300 kilogram truck is traveling east with a speed of 16 meter per second. Find the velocity of the center of mass of the system. Well, you should understand that if a speed is given to be westward, if you would take that as positive, then a speed in the east direction will be negative. 
So here, instead of giving you velocity, I give you speed and direction. So you must understand in our calculations, we use velocity. So a speed of 20 meter per second westward, if that is positive, then the eastward speed will be negative. But it is conventional for us to take the east as the positive x, west as the negative x. Is that right? Yes, there you have the car going west. A car of 1500 kilogram has a velocity v1 equal to negative 20 meter per second. Look at that. I used the westward direction as negative. So m1 is 1500 kilogram, v1 is negative 20 meter per second. And now I have another car, a truck that goes east, its mass M2 is 3000 kilogram, its velocity V2 is 16 meter per second. Where is its central mass? Its central mass will be closer to the truck than to the car, it will be somewhere here. And we need to find this, the velocity of that central mass. All right. V central mass equal to M1 V1 plus M2 V2 divided by M1 plus M2. Very simple equation. Once you identify all the quantities, simply use them in the equation. M1 V1, 1500 times 20i plus M2 V2, 3000 kilogram times 16i divided by M1 plus M2 and that will be 4 meter per second I. The center of mass of these two vehicles will be moving at 4 meter per second in the east direction. Okay, that's the center of mass. It is moving east at 4 meter per second. A little later.